and we're back. You're watching Sports Federation TV. I'm Lenyuk Tachetti. Thank you for staying tuned. Uh, from Majorettes to Basketball and from Hanover Park Basketball Club, we have Anthony Jackson to share news about their exciting club. Welcome, Anthony. Hi, welcome, Ashwiti. Well, you know, we've, uh, I've had basketball on here before and we've, we've always maintained basketball is one of those sports with just street cred. It's one oh. of those street cred sports. Uh, tell us how your club started. Well, our club started um, October last year. Um, before that, I was playing various places. And then um, wherever I got the nurses, the nurses don't have place to come and play for us. And then with all these questions, I figured out, okay, why must I bring friends from an old park? to play in different places, communities, where I can basically start in my own community. And that's basically how basketball um, started in an old park again. It was there before, it was 95 to 2000, and then it ended, because um, you know people grow up, mm. and then they do what they want to do, and then the bad habits come in, alcohol, drugs, gangsterism, and then basketball just broke away. And then from there, um, I basically floated around, some of my other friends also floated around playing. Game still went on, but Basketball never happened in the Noble Park again up until last year. Mm -hmm. So I think I was about an eight year break before we started again. Um, starting basketball now in the Noble Park is, I would say, is basically a way out for, for, for younger children um, and for young men, adults, um, not just men, girls and boys, ladies, men, um, so that they can not just stay in a negativity, they, they can actually move out. Um, meet places from meet people from different communities, um, even meet people like yourself. Mm -hmm. um, there was also um, I was also asked if I have more girls. Um, I don't know if you know. There's a few ladies that have been over to America. Mm -hmm. So that's basically why I started basketball. Not just to have it internally, but it's a global sport, so that we can go places, meet new people, stuff like that. In in what capacity are you involved currently in the club? Um, in the club. Um, I started the club, so um, for now I'm chairman, as they say. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of difficult running the show, and it's also difficult maintaining. You have to organize coaches, you have to uh, practice times, you have to organize games, you have to organize playing kids stuff and like I'm that. I'm sure they're like, yeah, Wilmos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that's basically what happened. One of our one of my old friends or one of my friends told me, uh, if you have power, you, know, you should that responsibility mm. but uh, due to my uh, lack of experience I actually lost a good coach and I'm basically trying to get him back so he's, he's very good in motivating players um, very good with young people and I'm basically trying to get him back onto the show what's his name his name is Kiam Henry he's, Kiam Henry yeah he's basically a veteran in, in the sports in an mm -hmm. Kiam Henry yeah Come back to basketball, Kiam yeah, Henry. They need you there, Hanover Park Basketball Club. So, um, tell us about the people that's in your club and uh, what the sport has meant for them. Um, what uh, the people we try to get from is we don't care who you are, what background you are, what background you have. We don't worry about your religion. Um, basketball is, is an open door for everyone. Um, where we can't live, um, gang violence is mm. there. There's no sports, basically. The only sport that, that we basically know about is cricket and netball, which I play weekly. And we want to introduce basketball. So we would like to go to the places um, in an old park where the gang situation is very high, drug is very popular. Um, there's a, f a whole lot of places. I can mention the names, but it's going to take me forever to mention the names. And those are the type of people that we want to we wanna bring into basketball. Come, let's go. Let's, let's start the basketball team here. Get familiar with the games. Then I can take you to Mitchell's Plain, Aydafiel, Google Year 2, Langa, Cape Town. Mm. Places like that where they will meet more people, learn the game better, stuff like that. Mm. What would you say is some of the other benefits about being involved in the sport other than the fact that you're giving people an opportunity to do something else other than be, be a gangster or be a drug addict? See, um, opportunities, so a lot of opportunities, like I said earlier on, you can go to America. Um, we, have, we have a winter league from CTBA. I and mean, um, uh, I'm going to speak on the correction. I think the summer league is happening now. Um, you, so basically, you're going to meet more people from 
different places. Um, you're even going to meet coaches from America once he has coaching clinics. Um, it's not just coaches from, from South Africa, it's coaches from outside of South Africa that's coming. Mm. And it's also assisting. So, I mean, once they, once they see your, your potential that you have, you can basically grow in the sport and then they can overtake you overseas um, like to, to America or whatever mm. other place the basketball is. So, it's not, just, it's not limited here. You can, you can basically just go where you want to. Yeah, if you have the talent, the sky's the limit. Hey. And believe me, there's a whole lot of people with a whole lot of talent. Yes. Basketball is the fastest growing sport, so... Mm. So, well, you've brought some photos and we'll take a look at that now uh, to get some, a uh, deeper look into your club. Not a problem. So, uh, this is in, ha in Hanover Park. Was that an event? No, uh, it's not in Hanover Park. We actually took, um, that's the first time our under-18 boys just got together. Uh, we went to Portland's Witches Plain. Mm -hmm. okay, we just had a friendly game there. This is in Hanover Park. Um, that is when I tried to get a few kids just to play basketball. And I had over 20 kids there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, b due to the, to the game violence, they, start, they, st um, sorry, they started staying away because, I mean, a bullet doesn't have a name on it, just goes wherever. Absolutely. Um, these kids, a um, couple of months ago, uh, I got them back together again. And then um, we were lucky enough to get the school, Mount Dry, to give us the court to practice basketball. And this is the first time with the kids is actually on a basketball court. Mm. And we're still trying to get them into the game. And mm. I mean, the exams is finished now. So the school is coming up. Now we're going to be really busy. Excellent. Um, this is also the same place we just played in Portland. That's an award park in the white t-shirts. And the yellow t-shirts is um, assassins from just playing. Mm. Um, the little guy kneeling there, that's our coach. All right. So what are some of the challenges? I mean, this is a street sport. Your club is, uh, let's straight talk, it's in one of the areas that is known for issues like yeah. uh, gang violence and, and shootings and drugs and those kind of things. So that obviously presents its own challenges. Um, how are you managing to keep the, the club going despite all of these challenges? Um, keep them going. We, we actually organize, we try to organize all our games. But the thing is, we would like to bring games back to an hour park. But we can't do that because we don't have a basketball court. So as soon as we get the basketball court, then I'll, I won't say that the crime rate will drop, <laughs> but people will see, okay, here's a sport going, here's basketball. Now, we every time just talk about basketball in the community, but no one sees what's happening. So as soon as we can get the court there, mm. or anywhere in our park, and get the kids to come, get um, clubs from other communities to come and play there, and then I'm not going to say, okay, now Opa is going to be a better place, but we can prevent those kids from getting hurt by, by the gangsters or falling into the trap of drugs and stuff like that. Absolutely. It's, it's baby steps, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's, it's baby steps and it's very difficult. So um, as soon as we can get a basketball court mm -hmm. in an park, and then things will go much quicker and it will be very easy to, to attract kids. Because I mean, um, because of, like I said now, we talk basketball, we talk basketball in our park. But people don't see. I know, okay, yeah, Bosco was here way back, but now these guys just talking. Well, now they're going to see. Yeah, because hopefully. now you can share this interview to all the groups in Hanover Park Bondo. on Facebook and, and they'll, they'll know about your sport and the amazing things you're doing. Now, the schools in, in the area, yeah. are they playing the sport? Um, currently, no. Uh, none of the schools in Hanover Park have basketball courts. We invited um, one of our schools, Plumfly Primary. Okay, we, we, we got about 15 kids from them, and um, it was a great day. Because I don't have pictures of the day, I lost it. And then, um, but what we're trying to do, we're trying to, as soon as we can get um, basketball on the school, there's about nine schools in an hour park, and they can have their own school league amongst each other. Mm. And then it's going to be better, it's going to keep the kids busy, and keep them off the streets. And I mean, I'm going to keep the parents also happy, mm. because right, the, the child is actually active on a basketball court or on a sports, sports field instead of standing on the corner or doing bad things. Mm. Can people get in touch with your club? Uh, do you have a Facebook page or anything? Uh, we have a Facebook group. It's called the Novo Park Basketball Club. Um, yeah, they can basically, whatever you want, you can see it there. Um, you can get in contact with the place that's there or you can just leave a comment. Okay. Thank you, Anthony Jackson, for the amazing work you're doing in your community. And uh, Kiam Henry. Please yeah. go back. Please. <laughs> Please go back to Hanover Basketball Club. They love you and they need you and they value you.
Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Uh, well, now it's time for the Bashers competition. Remember, uh, Bashers is Cape Town's favorite cool drink, and everybody has their Bashers story, and everyone's got their Bashers memory with all their amazing flavors like ginger beer and pineapple and cream soda. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure your mouth is just watering thinking about your bashes. So uh, take out your phones and SMS bashes to 33090. That's bashes to 33090. Congratulations to last week's winner. That's Rashad Samuels. Rashad, you can expect your case of assorted bashes, bashes drinks in the mail very soon. After the break, we'll be back with another exciting sport. That's air rifle shooting. So please stay tuned for that.